Hey, subscribers, I've got 50 of you now. Well, 53. And although I'm eternally grateful for all the support you've given me, it is a scary amount, and I fear that in time, there just won't be enough of Clack of the Geek to go around. So I've called a friend to help me solve this problem. Here, bringing it on the show, Clack of the Creep gives you a tutorial on how to make your very own Clack of the Geek at home. Enjoy. Jesus Christ, you nearly scared me to death then. Goodness me. So what are you doing here then? Wait, what? What am I doing here? Oh, for God's sake. Look, I haven't been on the channel for a while, so I might as well do it. I've got nothing else better to do. Get your clack of the geek, your need. Coloured card. Coloured tissue. Glittery foam. Uh, the, the, the Prit stick. Some sellotape. The skizzers. Whatever the hell these things are. And whatever else you have lying about. Firstly, you need to cut the coloured card into circular shapes to create the basic structure of your Clack of the Geek. You need to do this with all the colours that you have, and they need to be in exact circular shapes, otherwise you've done it wrong and you'll have to start from the beginning. Then, use the prick stick to stick the layers of card together. Leave a bit of overhang with each layer. You don't want them symmetrical, otherwise you won't be able to see them. Do it as depicted here. Then, rip the colour tissue into little shreds and strips to make the hair on your clack of the geek. To make the hair on your clack of the geek, to make the back of the hair at least, you need to stick the strips of paper onto the back with the print stick. And then for the iconic quiff, you need to get the rigid pieces of tissue that you have left and stick them on the top of the front, just like this. Then to make the bow tie, cut out triangle shapes out of the glittery foam. Did you know for his school prom he wore a bow tie? Did you also know that Clack of the Geek didn't have a date for that prom? Very embarrassing. And the bow tie should look something like this. A bit like my bow tie. Because I have very good fashion sense, if I do say so myself. To attach the bow tie to your clack of the geek, take the sellotape and sellotape it to uh, the, the, the things that you've made. Then use this object, which makes the ink come out, to draw the facial features on your clack of the geek. Be very precise with detail, and you can take creative liberties, but it needs to look something like this. Then to get Clack of the Geek's infinite wisdom, put a tea bag into the goblet and then boil that tea bag with boiling water from a kettle. And to retrieve the tea bag, you need to use a spoon to get it out of the mug, just like this and tear the tea bag and allow the tea minerals, or whatever they're called, to fall all over Clack of the Geek's face. This will give him the power, wisdom and knowledge of what a geek is. And his love for tea does come into play with this aspect. Then, push in the fridge for a few hours, or have a long time to I'm impatient, I don't really care. And done. And now your Clack of the Geek shall now be doing what a Clack of the Geek should do. If it doesn't, you've probably failed and you'll have to start all over again. If you'd like to purchase one from our official online store, consider giving yourself a kick up the rear for being too bone idle to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe because I want to do more of these. Anyway, goodbye.